Hi Aquarius, welcome to November 2017 love reading. It's Raina here and you're the last sign I'm doing but I'm still talking about this new deck that I'm using. For this particular reason, reading at least, Crystal Visions Tarot by Jennifer Galasso. <laughs> oh, these pentacles. Oh, pentacles and swords, earth and air signs. So do you have any people in your life that are Taurus, Gemini, <laughs> uh, what else? Libra, Aquarius, Virgo and Capricorn, then maybe that's half of the Zodiac. But that's what we're talking about. And I put those two on the same team when it comes to being detached. So emotionally, um, very, uh, very level and logical in your dealings. And I noticed too that all of these are ma minor arcana cards. So there, it may be that you have developments happening in November, but it's kind of a continuation of something that has happened before, maybe not major turning point, although the Ace of Swords could show something like that at some point. The overall heart of the matter is Eight of Pentacles. That can be you absorbed in your work, and it can also be that you are trying to make a relationship work. And the, let's just keep going because um, flush it out a little bit. The past position, we have the Seven of Pentacles. You could be, um, you could have been waiting for a particular situation to kind of come to fruition. Maybe, you, you know, you had a crush on somebody or um, just were even starting to date this person, but you weren't sure if it is a, a good relationship or not. You weren't sure if it really was uh, compatible and things like this. Now, it could be with an earth sign. Taurus, oh yeah, I didn't say Taurus. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, usually with those three signs, I would say Taurus, even though you may have a lot of differences with a Taurus person. But um, I'm going by the fact that they're that you're both uh, fixed signs, and we'll just keep going. And then we have for the present position, the Page of Pentacles. So it's interesting. You have this kind of like a receptive time when you're just kind of like seeing how things are going, and then you have this Page of Pentacles, which can be like a message. In some cases, you may have met somebody possibly through work and now you're separated and you're waiting to see if they're going to contact you again. Is this is this it? Are we going to, I was going to say hook up, but that has a different connotation. Are we ever going to get back together and be able to have like a proper relationship? You may get that message. And in some cases, you may, it just may be a relationship that you've been in for a long time and you're trying to make it work. And you, you may have been trying to wait for the other person to do a certain thing for them to get help if they have some kind of addiction or to stop seeing somebody else if they were stepping out on you. And now um, you may have uh, the page of pentacles sometimes can be money that you receive for some people it's going back to school 
And even the Eight of Pentacles can speak of um, some kind of training. So that may be like the environment that you're either going towards or you're in at the moment. But the Page of Pentacles can be that you receive a word about a job or money and there's a newness to it. So you may be kind of um, planning your escape in the sense that you're able to use a job offer as an excuse to leave or if you're going off to school to another university and getting away from this particular situation the higher message is the ace of swords whatever is happening it's all about seeing things as they really are and not making excuses for them not um creating a false narrative. This can also be the beginnings of a relationship. Maybe it's the beginnings of a relationship with yourself since you are the swords and getting to know yourself better. If you were in a long-term marriage that has split up, you may feel like you don't know yourself. You, you don't have a sense of self anymore. And this is talking about your new beginnings possibly and getting reacquainted with yourself. There's a sense of, it's, it's funny because that I'm reading it like this because it doesn't have to be that there's some kind of a breakup. It could simply be that you're getting to know somebody and it's kind of like, um, with the Eight of Pentacles though, either you your work is kind of coming in between the two of you and preventing the two of you from having that uh, regular contact for some reason. And maybe it's on their end. Maybe they're getting training, going into basic training, something along those lines. But um, there's a, you could be communicating versus internet why you are waiting to be together physically. So this doesn't have to be something bad. It could just be that it's not really getting off the ground yet, per se. What crosses you is the King of Swords. If um, there is a party involved, it happens to be another air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, maybe the father of your child, they may pop back into the picture right when you're trying to begin a new relationship and it's like, oh gosh, you know, it's like they have a sixth sense and they, they know when you're you know, moving on with your life. But this could be a facet of you that's warning you not to be out of touch with your feelings. Also, um, the there, you know, if this was, if this is a negative situation, that person could be very cruel and they may be verbally abusive. And what it does is it's not just insulting. It could be getting into your head and, you know, kind of manipulating you into thinking that you're not worth trying to start a new life for yourself. So it'd be like an abusive partner that is using mental games to try to break your spirit and to keep you down. And basically this card would be saying, watch out for this person. Don't let this person into your head. Don't even let them into your life if they are vindictive, if there's somebody who's vindictive. Um, don't let them, don't give them an inch. What is coming in is the Ten of Swords. So there is this sense that betrayal is happening. And this is this is one of the things that's funny because I was saying, I'm not funny about that, but I said that I felt like that those cards, even though they don't are not negative in and of themselves, I felt like they were pointing, I felt like that Eight of Pentacles was pointing to somebody trying too hard to make something work that's really a toxic situation. So if that's the case, the Ten of Swords for you is 
hitting bottom. Maybe this person is saying, is lying and promising empty promises to try to lure you back into to their life. And then sure enough, you believe them and they screw you over once again. It's funny, I just did a reading where I had these and they were in the same position, these two cards, I think. But at least they were in the same reading. The Three of Swords is the outcome and this is another card of heartbreak, maybe a three, par um, three parties involved, like a lover's triangle. But feeling rejected, like you're the one who is receiving the brunt of the negative energy from this other person. If that's the case, if somebody has cheated on you and you're trying to make the marriage work, for instance, look to see if you're doing all of the work. If that other person doesn't seem to be invested in the relationship and you're the one that is trying to make it work, it isn't going to work because it has to be a mutual thing, obviously, and you may get yet another indication that this person is not faithful or not committed in some way. Because back in August, August 7th to be exact, you had a lunar eclipse in your sign. So even back then or even a little bit before that, you may have experienced something like this that began and now you're seeing it even further in, you know, enhanced or illustrate it to you in whatever's happening. And the Three of Swords can also mean that you need to just cut off this relationship very cleanly. Do not leave any kind of, you know, loose ends and, and just like break off very completely. I'm going to pick the card at the bottom of the deck, because it, um, okay, <clears throat> because the Three of Swords is not the kind of card that I resolve that, that are resolutions. It's just like, okay, you're, you're experiencing heartbreak. Then I picked another card, the Three of Cups, another three, this time Cups, and this is about enlisting your friendships to help you on the journey to healing. And it's interesting because Aquarius rules the 11th house of friendships, groups. But a lot of people, when they get involved in relationships, they abandon their friendships, which is not wise. If that's something that you have before, I mean, if you're kind of um, somebody who doesn't really socialize, that's a different story. But if you have a, a network of friends and then you get involved in a relationship and you just blow them off, that kind of shows that you are to into the relationship that you're willing to sacrifice these other things and so you might reconnect with some of these people and they can help you to kind of disengage from this toxic situation but also to just have that network for whatever reason if you're looking for a job if you're looking to get away from if you're like with if this is your boss, because a king can be a boss, then you may have to find a new job and you may need the recommendations or the tips from other people and the jobs that are out there, the prospects. So that could also be a thing. For some people, there could be some issue with addictive drinking, maybe not on your end, but on the other person's end. And this is why they are rejecting you because they don't have it within them to participate in a grown-up relationship. They're just too absorbed within their own compulsive behavior. So don't put yourself down and think that it's because of you that you're undesirable. It's really because of their own lack of self-love that is kind of perpetuating this. So in any case... It's a very interesting situation. It, you know, when I picked those additional cards, or that additional card, I still got a minor arcana card. So these are passing energies. They're not necessarily kind of groundbreaking or it's like kind of like the current weather report. So 
we'll see in um, my December reading if there are a lot of changes going on and maybe new beginnings. I see with the Ace of Swords, I think you are having a new beginning, but you may feel like you're still entrenched in some kind of relationship that you just need to make a clean break from. Okay, Aquarius, well, if you'd like a private reading, please click on the link below. Otherwise, have an amazing November. Bye.